This is it. Last week, you voted for Supernova. Oh, I love that. And our celebrity <laughs> judges made their picks. Solo. But it's not over yet. Now, which of these six new dogs will get the two spots left and a shot at the 100,000 US dollars? It's time to find out on World's Most Amazing Dog. Hi, everyone. I'm Preacher Lawson, and this is World's Most Amazing Dog, or as I like to call it, World's Most Amazing Job. Yeah. <laughs> I spend the whole day cracking jokes and watching dog videos, and they pay me for it. Woo! It's week five, folks, and you know what that means. It's your last chance to vote before the dogs perform live. You and our celebrity judges have already sent eight dogs to the semis, so keep watching. And at the end of this episode, you'll vote for your favorite to move to our semifinals. Sorry, the gas has just kicked in again. The gas has just Woo. kicked in again. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, not me. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, just one. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. There's Lisa. a tremendous wow factor in these parts. Just, just the dog. What is wrong yeah. with you? Man. Okay. It's like splitting well, an atom. Something okay. so tiny okay, yeah. can explode so big. Oh, okay. So this is it. Before we get to our competition and update about our semifinalists, you remember Tess, the voter collie that blew us away from her wide range of tricks? You, the fans voted her through to the semis, but unfortunately her owner is away at school, so she's unable to continue. Oh, oh no. I love that yeah. dog. Which means Godric, who got the second most amount of votes in week three, will take her place. Congrats, Godric. Godric. This is our last episode before our semifinals where the dogs will be performing live right here in studio. We're judging these dogs on three things. Difficulty of trick, personality, and wow factor. Whichever dog you feel nails all three gets to go to the semifinals. You'll pick one, and those people watching at home, they'll vote for their pick at the end of the episode. Now, we get videos from all over the world, but this week, America stepped up giving us five of our six competitors. Dog bless the USA. Our first dog was late to the party, but incredibly, they climbed to the top 5% of the leaderboard in just one week from Atlanta, Georgia. It's Norman. Hi, I'm Karen Cobb. I'm a dog trainer from Atlanta, Georgia, and this is my dog, Norman. Norman is just my best friend. He's my partner. He just went through a battle with lymphoma, and we are now 17 months post-transplant. At 24 months, they'll consider him cured. And he's just doing great. He doesn't like to act like a dog. He thinks he's human. He's really a clown. He's got a personality that's like no other dog I've ever met. So vote for Norman. Oh my God, I just can't. That is a bit too yeah. much. I mean, that's a lot of weight to balance on a bicycle. Okay, that's a hell of a trip. Devil's advocate. After that first shot, the kid and the dog were not ever in the same video. So I think there's a little zipper in there. The kid comes out, <laughs> zips him back in, he rides the bike, takes the money. You never see him again. <laughs> and wow factor, what about that? Oh, huge wow factor for me to see that beautiful animal on the bike like that, the personality. Big wow factor, yes. The trick could have been a little bit longer. I mean, I've seen some great performances in my life, personally, but when they're only three seconds, I don't no, no. really help them no. in, you know? Yeah, yeah, sometimes in the afternoon. Is it up? <laughs> is it up? Three seconds in the afternoon. Okay, is. way to go. All right, well, don't forget, at the end of this episode, you get a chance to vote, so don't go anywhere. Next up, another fan favorite chosen by you guys who made his way into your heart for a reason. Give some love to Copper from Albany, New York. Hi, I'm Debbie. This is my dog, Copper. He's a mix between a Dachshund and a Pomeranian. I've had Copper for about the last four years. I adopted him when he was three years old. I got him in from a pretty deplorable condition. He was really in bad health. He had never been to a veterinarian. I realized really quickly on he's super smart. He's a very social little guy, and I'm really glad that I adopted him when I did because he needed me, but I think I needed him more. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, oh come on. Did you hear that? Listen, I've been drunk before. I know how it sounds. <laughs> If you follow it up, let me in. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> You're a dirty dog. Yeah. We've established that. But it was really clear. Yeah. Clear as a bell. Right? It was. I thought that was incredible, that trick. The wow factor was big. I would like to have seen more. Puff is a little jealous right now. He doesn't have to tell me. I can just see it by the look in your eyes. But remember, everyone, the fate of these dogs rides on your shoulders, because at the end of this episode, you vote, and it counts. So keep watching. This next poot comes from an in-house team of experts. They sniff out talent like dogs sniff out butts. And <laughs> <laughs> who they find this time? I am from Lancaster, Illinois. Are you ready for nap time? Here, tuck yourself in. Hi, my name is Alex, and this is my dog, Ayn. We brought him home when he was eight weeks old, and now he's two and a half. I'm an active duty Air Force captain, and I'm also 29 weeks pregnant. Ayn pretty much has not left my side. I think Ayn is the world's most amazing dog, and it's not just his tricks, it's just everything about him. So vote for Ayn. He's so cute. Go under. Good boy. Sit. You stand up. Walk forward. Wow. Back up. Good boy. Can you lay down? Hey, that dog was playing hopscotch. Can you roll over? Oh, good boy. High five. Is that a corgi? Is it fancy? Wait. This is. Good boy. One more. Oh. Good boy. Oh. Go around me. She's making out with her dog. I've never seen that. Good boy. Can you go under? Jump over. Hey. Go under. Oh, Jump over. Good boy. Back up. Back up. Lay down. Hey. Look how connected he is. He doesn't even wait a second. He doesn't wait a second. Back up some more. Second. Roll over again. Oh, good boy. Double high five. Nice job. Can you wolf it? Louder. Wolf it. Good boy. Like this once in my life, I want a fraction of validation from someone. Good preacher. Oh. Look at him, pup. What do you think? Good boy. Nice job. Wow. Now that is a trick. That dog paid more attention. Like to the owner than say my husband would to me. You I've know? seen like, you guys, yes. So you think corgis are, do that a lot of them? I don't know that corgis do, because you know corgis are the queen's Queen. dogs. I don't know that they're known for being that smart, but that dog was Impressive. off the hook because everything was so connected. It's a great relationship between the owner and the dog, and the dog's tricks were concise, very yeah. good, fast. Hey, I know how obsessed you are with this show, and I know how much you love these videos, but I also know it's not enough. You want more? Videos, exclusive content, community. Get over to our Facebook page and click follow, share, tag a friend. And while you're there, share a story in the comment section about your favorite dog. Now, let's head across the pond to meet this week's only foreign contestant, a lovely last name, Mojo. Hi, I'm Lynn and I'm from Derbyshire in the UK. This is Mojo, my poodle. She's eight years old. She was quite a sickly puppy. She'd had trouble being born and we got her better. And she just gives us great joy every single day. Mojo is a fully trained agility dog and obedience and she competes in both. Mojo should be the world's most amazing dog because the world needs more Mojo. Mojo! Dog named Mojo got Mojo. That's my question. That's, what? Come on. You like that, don't you? Hey. Wow. Oh, love the personality. Love the wow factor, smart dog. Amazing. I think the biggest trick was getting him not to piss on his own toys. <laughs> what is that going to do with anything? Because you know a dog will see that, he'll like, <laughs> he'll mark it like so that nobody piano. else plays his piano. Okay. I like the originality of the trick. We've seen a few dogs do, you know, different things, but we haven't seen a singing, playing the piano, a piano all. playing dog, have we? No, we have no. not. Great personality. Huge wow factor. It's because he came from England. Get it? <laughs> right, okay, yeah. <laughs> See him doing happy hours in hotels. <laughs> right, next up, say hello to another one of your picks, Larry. He's got balls on the brain, literally. Hi, I'm Darren, and this is Larry. And we live in Atlanta, Georgia, and Larry is a full-time best friend and part-time co-pilot. 
and was rescued. And the lady who fostered him uh, had three of them and named them Larry, Curly, and Mo. The name stuck. Uh, he loves to socialize and go on road trips. One of the other really cool things about him is he is super soft. His entire body feels like a puppy's ears. He is truly the world's most amazing dog. Good boy. Oh. Okay. I realize the trip wasn't that long, but what were you thinking about the personality? I loved him. When you put the ball on that dog's head, just the fact that he can focus and keep it there, just even for that second, you know, it shows huh. the concentration. What do you uh, think, Puffy, if well, I put a ball on your head, would you be able to... It's never going to happen. <laughs> do not embarrass Puffy. Yeah. Like, you keep doing that. Puffy feels less than. Puffy doesn't need to do anything. Don't wind him up. Yeah, it's a little bit of a flash trick. You know, it's a quick trick. Difficulty. You know, like we are saying, difficulty. We see dogs, you know, from other countries around the world doing seven tricks or saying I love you. That's What's right. easier for you, to do that trick or say I love you? I think to do that trick is... Uh, easier. Way easier. <laughs> I mean, I'll say I love you, but do I mean it? Probably not. <laughs> All right, Facebook fans, one dog left, then it's time to let democracy take its course. So, let's get ready because when you see the poll on your screen, you only have 48 hours to vote. Don't go anywhere. Our final dog was voted in by you guys, our Facebook audience. You loved her, you picked her. And here she is from Cartersville, Georgia, Gracie. My name is Tammy Turley, and this is Gracie, and we live in Cartersville, Georgia. Gracie came to us about four months ago when she was around six weeks old. She had been born with no front legs. She doesn't have any idea that she's different, that she should have four legs. She scoots around on her chest. She's learned to hop like a bunny. Gracie has brought so much joy to our family. She is the most amazing dog because she learns every day how to overcome things that others take for granted. Good. Excellent. As a Latino, his car wasn't painted all one color, so I kind of pulled at my heartstrings. It was like his little cart was 10 different colors. <laughs> Hit home. I thought some of the stuff leading up to the trick was almost more impressive than the trick. I want that dog, though. God, that yeah. dog is, like, emotionally... But, but based on the trick. If the dog could have maneuvered through traffic, more impressive. Oh, my gosh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> You're moments away from picking your semi-finalist right after we hear the judges pick. But first, some dogs don't need a hundred grand or a sweet new pad. They just need a home, which is why we partnered up with some amazing organizations. In North Carolina, me rest. He can be a little shy at first, but walks and playtime keep him happy and relaxed. Russell is looking for a loving, patient adopter who will appreciate his sweet and goofy nature. All the way from Thailand, Melanie will win your heart. Abandoned by her first family, she lived on the streets but was rescued by Soy Dog. The vet weren't able to save her infected eye, but she was able to make a full recovery. From India, this pup is full of unconditional love. Rescued from an unsafe space with his sister Lilo, who got adopted, Stitch desperately needs a loving family, too. All right. You can find even more dogs and the information on how to adopt them on our world's most amazing dog show page. Well, judges, it's time to make your move. Which dog will you choose to perform their magic live here in the studio next week? Okay, I need Jiggy to help me this time. So you're calling in reinforcements? Yeah. Preacher, will you pick him up? I got you. Come I on. Guess. Yeah, so don't fart on me like Puffy does, though. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. That's my boy. Oh, good boy. How was Jiggy Way on this competition? Well, he's a very smart dog. Probably one of the smartest dogs we've ever had. But uh, wow. let's think. What do you think, Jig? Remember, you each have one save, which means a dog you love, if they don't make it, you can bring them back to the semifinals or the finals, but you can only do that once. Ooh. How about this? I know it's a big decision. How about we run it back and let's we yeah, refresh your memory? Let's do it. Oh, I find that so. Oh, oh, oh I like that too. Oh, oh, under? Oh, this dog was amazing. Oh, oh my God, they're all so good. Oh, this ah, is impossible. Oh, this is tough. 
What are we doing? When I looked at Gracie, I just fell in love with her because she was just, you know, just the whole emotional thing. She coped so well, but the trick... The trick was, wasn't as spectacular as Gracie's story. We are agreeing a We're lot We're agreeing today. with this one. Jeez, I am thinking, I, I mean, do you want to be serenaded by the piano playing dog? I've not seen that before. Have you seen a dog no, play a piano? No, I never have. Oh. Do you want to see that Briard on the bike? That was fantastic, wasn't it? Yes. I would love to see that dog do this and that in the studio. I like Ian, and I like Mojo. What do you think? George? I'm going to, you know, I'm going to pick Mojo. Jiggy, come on, puppy, what do you think? Come on, what is it? I think I'm going to have to go with the wow factor that's going to supersede everything. OK, I'm going to go with Mojo. That's it? That's, that's our beautiful. final choice, Mojo? Yes. Yes. All right. You are sending Mojo to the semifinals. So now it's up to you, everyone at home. You got to vote. Who are you going to give it to? Norman, Copper, Ian, Larry, Gracie. Big thanks to George, Lisa, Puffy, Jiggy. Everyone that sent us dog videos, all the fans who tune in and vote, you have 48 hours to take the poll. You know, don't wait that long. Do it right now. And if you have room in your heart and your home for a four-legged friend, don't miss the adoption section on our Facebook show page. And while you're here, don't forget to click, follow, share with a friend. Next week, we step it up with our first round of semifinals with these amazing dogs performing their amazingness right here in the studio. Yay. See you next time. Good job, Rika. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was really hard.